This video is going to show you how to do a correlation matrix using SPSS. So in this example data set here, we've got a few variables we're interested in correlating with each other. YFAST symptom, BIS total, BAS total, and BMI, body mass index. So to make a correlation matrix in SPSS is very straightforward, and you'll have done this in year one. Analyze, correlate by variate, and simply, we want to put across the variables we're interested in, YFAS, BIS, BAS, and BMI. Click them across. We're just doing Pearson's correlation coefficients, and we're doing two-tailed significance. It's very few situations in which you'd ever ask for one-tailed significance. And that's it. You then you just click OK. And this gives you this quite small correlation matrix. So there's a few things to see in the correlation matrix. Here's a list of our variables, YFAS symptom, variable inhibition scale, the BIS, variable activation scale, the BAS, and body mass index, BMI. Then you can see these variables are repeated across the top. YFAS, variable inhibition scale, variable activation scale, body mass index. And then it's got a correlation between all these variables. So the first thing to notice is there's a diagonal set of ones. YFAS symptom count correlated with YFAS symptom count one. That's because it's correlated with itself and it gives a perfect correlation of one. This information is neither useful or worth reporting, so you just simply put a dash in columns that are representing that. Then the next thing you see is YFAS symptom count, correlation with behavioural inhibition scale. YFAS symptom count, correlation with behavioural activation scale. YFAS symptom count, correlated with body mass index. If we look at the next line, behavioural inhibition scale, correlated with YFAS symptom count. Behavioural inhibition scale correlates with itself, one. Behavioural inhibition scale correlates with behavioural activation scale. Behavioural inhibition scale correlates with body mass index. You'll note, however, this is exactly the same as that. YFAS symptom count correlates with behavioural inhibition scale. Behavioural inhibition scale correlates with YFAS symptom count. And that's why, when you look at the example, you see there's nothing in this half of the correlation matrix in the example one. So you don't report all these because you can see they're a perfect match. 0 0.115, 0 0.115, 222, 222, minus 0 0.019, minus 0 0.019, and so on. So we only report half of it, and it's everything correlating with everything else. And all you've got to do is make a table that gives this information. So what you're gonna do is produce a table for this one, it looks something like this. So you can see here we've got a list of our variables and they are also numbered. We've got variable one, YFAS symptom count, variable two, this, variable three is the BAS, and variable four is BMI. Means and standard deviations get given, I'm not going to do that here. As you can see, we've got numbers two, three, and four written here. And they relate to two, this, three, BAS, four, BMI. We don't have one in. The reason we don't have one, the only correlation between number one and number one is it with itself, and it's a pointless statistic. It's a correlation of one. So we ignore the YFAS symptom count here because it can give us no useful information. So we basically start at this point in the table here. Correlation between one, YFAS symptom count, and behavioral inhibition scale, and the correlation coefficient is 0.20. So we type in 0 0.20 and we give it two stars. Just like SPSS labels it. And then we move the next one, variable inhibition scale. That's rounded to 0 0.12. And again, two stars. Body mass index, 0 0.16. And again, two stars. And we just continue doing that until. And the table looks something like this then. So these are the correlation coefficients between the variables. And then we put in the dashes for the things correlating with themselves. So four with four is a dash, three with three is a dash, two with two is a dash, and we don't put one and one in because there's no information can be contained of any use in that column. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to report the p-values, you don't need to report n. And then the only other thing you need to do is just tell the reader what the stars represent. SPSS even labels that for you, so just copy what SPSS writes, but you can actually make it a little 
a little bit more simplistic than that. Just write star star p less than zero one. Now the reader knows that. Of course, you're going to give it appropriate title and so on. So all you need to do for the correlation correlation matrix table.